Hey guys, welcome back. All right, today we're gonna to be doing a water sign read. Um, you do not need to be a water sign for it to resonate. If you're seeing the read, it may be yours, uh, but it is geared towards uh, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. All right, know that tarot is for entertainment purposes and also to give you some clarity to your situation. Um, don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. If it's not your read, that's okay. Come back again another day. Uh, it is a 18 plus read. I may be pulling some sexy time cards. So if you don't like me talking dirty to you or you don't like any nudity, uh, find your way out of the read at that point. It's okay. Come back. Uh, if you'd like a personal read, um, check the link in the bio uh, below in the description box and, box and make sure to uh, subscribe and like and share and give me some feedback. I like to hear your uh your relationships all right so to begin with I did a pre-shuffle for you guys and uh, some of the cards that came out from the angel uh, deck is let your friends help you uh, ask for and accept support from others so I feel like you guys have been kind of holding back your emotions, maybe not communicating enough with the people around you. Maybe you're not getting, um, uh, you're not asking advice from other people. Oh, geez. All right. Uh, you're not asking for advice from other people due to the consequence. Like how my arm just dropped the consequence of your situation. So maybe you're, um, you're fearing the judgment of other people if you were to reach out. But Spirit's saying, reach out to someone. You're needing to speak with someone. Okay. Now this may re be regarding a uh, marriage uh, or a long-term commitment. Uh, a wedding card came out. This situation involves marriage. So you may be ca connected with... Uh, this might be your wife or your husband, um, or this could be a person that is involved with someone else. We're gonna see where it goes. But th those are the two uh, things that I'm seeing here. And um, this could be the one card came out. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So this person that you are thinking of could be your significant other or this could be a potential partner that you're, you're going to be marrying in the future. Okay. Take it however it resonates for you. But we're gonna go a little bit deeper. We're gonna see which what each card means. Uh, right off the bat, I see with the devil card, all right, you may be dealing with a Capricorn. I feel like there is, uh, there is or was a little bit of a toxic behavior in this connection. I also feel like you are being watched still by this person. They still see you as very uh, valuable, all right? But they're, they're at a distance watching you. I feel heavy on the earth signs. You guys are connecting with an earth sign with these two cards. So it could be Virgo, Cap, or Taurus. Uh, or this could be you. All right, so let's see. So there's toxicity, there's distance, uh, and someone's still keeping an eye on someone else. All right. Maybe dealing with the water sign, Scorpio, uh, Pisces, Cancer, a fellow, fellow water sign. Oh, a lot of water. All right. Well, it's a water sign read, right? Water sign read. Let's see. So, so far, someone's wanting to charge in. I, it looks like a water sign. This could be you wanting to charge into your person. All right, water signs wanting to charge into your person. Um, wanting to leave deception behind. So you may be asking your friends, should I go back? Should I um, share my emotions? Should I go back to this person that was deceptive to me in the past? Should I make a move? Should I show passion back towards them? You're needing a little bit of guidance of what to do with this person from the people that are around you, people that know you. Uh, 
um, and know your relationship maybe. Uh, but I see that you guys do want to go back to this person and you want to show emotions to them after there was some kind of deception or, or mask that was uh, placed here. Someone is feeling that they don't want to feel down anymore. They don't want to they don't want to feel down about this connection. They're feeling that they've this person might have apologized to you in the past and they just feel that they can't apologize for what they've done in the past to you anymore. Maybe this person lied, cheated, you know, was stealing. And um, they've, they've told you maybe on multiple occasions that they, they feel bad for what they've done, but they can no longer uh, apologize. So maybe this is a cheating situation here with the wedding card. And this could be the one and letting your friends help and the deception card right out into the wedding. So I feel like somebody might have went out of the connection and cheated, right? whether it be you or your person. So someone's che someone has cheated, somebody messed up, somebody dropped the ball in the relationship, and they're tired of trying to, uh, to prove themselves or fix the past, which they can't fix. Um, you know, whatever they did is done. They, they, they did it, they apologized for it, and they're trying to, they wanna move forward, they wanna be strong. Um, they're uh, taming themselves uh, from deceptive uh, behaviors, right? The tox toxic behaviors that they were doing, so they're trying to change their ways. Um, you may be dealing with a Cancer, or you may be a Cancer, you may be a Leo, or your person may be a Leo, Aries, Sag. Um, Okay, so they may be asking their friends, you know, telling their friends, I have so many emotions, I want to charge back into my person's life, uh, I'm trying to be strong, I'm trying to tame myself, I'm trying to give my person distance and space um, for things to heal. So the emperor... So I feel like someone's standing their ground here. Maybe an Aries person, maybe an Aries. But someone's standing their ground and saying, enough is enough. I'm not going to be treated unfairly. I'm not going to deal with the deception. So this may be you. You're not going to deal with this person's behavior. You're not going to be uh, uh, sticking around and, and having uh, them deceive you on a constant basis. You're seeing uh, that you... You may be authority, um, authoritative fig figure here, all right? Um, like a boss person, right? Male or female, doesn't matter. But very, like, strong. You're a strong person. And, um, you know, this, this hurts you a lot. This hurts you a lot that this person went outside of your connection and did what they did to you. So you're really um, showing up like, no nonsense like don't come with me don't come for me with no dumb shit here uh, I'm over the deception you hurt me but now I'm strong now I'm now I'm standing tall this could be the one they've been on their knees it's a lot of Leo energy here Leo came out twice so it might be Leo Leo connection going on um, or your person is just taking on the Leo energy, or you're taking on that energy. But the person, I feel like this person just wants to come back in and shine some light and have happy times with you again. Oh, that's too many. Yeah. Wanting to pull you out, wanting to pull you out of the Ten of Swords and wanting to pull themselves out of the Ten of Swords. They're no longer wanting to be bound um, bound and tied up in their head. 
you know, overthinking, overanalyzing, being critical of themselves, being critical of them. It seems like this person just wants you to, like, forgive them and forget it. Forgive and forget. Forgive and forget. But that's hard for you to do. Right? That's hard for you to do, to forgive and forget after they hurt you so badly. And you feel like they didn't value you by going out and doing this to you. Um, at this point, this, this person is trying to hold back their passion for uh, other people. They may, have, um, they may have this ego, this really big ego about them that they feel that they must go outside and get, uh, get other people um, to get passionate for them. They may have like a codependency or um, a need to feel wanted or needed by uh, people around them. But they're trying to tame those, the, those aspects. They're seeing that, uh, you know, going outside of their connection and cheating didn't do them any good, right? Didn't do them any good. Uh, they were trying to make themselves happy. They weren't really taking you into consideration, right? They were thinking about me and what's going to make me happy. And... Um, they're regretful for doing that and they're seeing that they may have a little bit of a insecurity, right? A little bit of an insecurity, maybe a lot of an insecurity that they need to, they need to work on, you know, no longer wanting a, a third party, three of cups. Like I said before, this person is watching you. They, they're still watching your social media or, you know, keeping, uh, keeping tabs on you. Um, I feel like you guys right now are kind of like isolating yourself from this person. You're reflecting and, and thinking if this connection is uh, worth your time and attention anymore. Where are you going to go with this person? Trying to, you know, shine, shine some light, light on the situation. Okay. Ace of Wands in reverse. Maybe dealing with a Virgo. Or a Sag. Person still shows, uh, they see you as, you know, you're trying to focus on you now. And you're putting, like, you have a barrier up between you and them. And they're still very attracted to you very attracted to you still seeing you in a really um magnetic way the queen of wands knows where she wants to go and she goes for it so you're going you're going for something uh, you're getting very powerful within your own energy here oh okay yeah trying to manifest you back guys they're in deep manifestation mode, trying to manifest their pentacles, their emotions, their passion back, and their uh, mental stability. You may look at this person as they, uh, they like to wave their wand around, and uh, they have childlike ways, and they're immature, and... Uh, you may feel that this person is not going to change their patterns. Oh. This person wants a happy home, though. They want their happiness back with you. They want their family back. If you are married to this person, they want their family back. Four of Wands. They want their their goddess or god back and they want to start anew okay. so what is this person gonna communicate what's going on
they fear okay so their fear is they fear that they're not going to be able to heal this connection with you and that really makes them upset not feeling that you'd take them back to heal it they know that you're guarded you're worried about what people are saying like the hearsay or the gossip going around that this person they might have gotten out that this person cheated and um, you may be fearful uh, of what people would say if you were to go back to this person but you know what I've been cheated on and I've been the cheater let's be honest all right <laughs> childhood adulthood whatever it is um, it doesn't feel good to be cheated on right um, and it really doesn't feel good to be the cheater either so being cheated on it's a whole nother level hurt and to do the cheating it's a whole nother level hurt um, but you know people cheat not most of the time it's not because of anything to do with you you know it's because of their own insecurities and and the ego uh, that we need to feed ourselves to feel good and sometimes when someone cheats, they don't do it to be malicious to you guys, right? You have to be understanding them to that. It's not always being malicious. Sometimes um, relationships happen. You get close, you, you build a friendship maybe with the person and you know, you just get this closeness and bam, you're in, you're in a third party situation. You know, it's not, I don't think, some people do, they just, they're a cheat and they just, want to feed their ego but then other people it seems like in this situation this person just might have just um, allowed their passion to overrun uh, their mind I'm not saying that it's right or wrong but you know try to be understanding of all directions always You know, I'm, I'm sure this person wasn't out to hurt you, right? Maybe they weren't thinking of you totally. They were thinking of themselves. But, you know, that's what we do. We should be thinking about ourselves and our own happiness. Um, not a detriment of someone else, though. But, yeah. I feel like this person just, they know that they made the wrong, wrong decision, right? A big mistake. It looks like they made a big mistake in this connection uh, by leaving you and being deceptive. They're trying to fix that. They are trying to fix their deception with the Seven of Swords in reverse. They're trying to not be sneaky. They're trying not to be uh, in and out. Um, they're seeing you as this, you know, this really uh, beautiful person that they know that you'll be just, you'll be fine. You'll be fine without them. And that's why they, they're fearful that they won't be able to heal it because they know, they know that you're a bad bitch or, you know, bad ass on your own. That you're caring and giving and nurturing and, and you're something to, to hold on to. Yep. They no longer want to feel regret. They don't want to think about the emotions that have been spilt out between the two of you guys. And you're tired of feeling emotional about this connection too. You're tired of feeling guarded. You're tired of this person. Um, you're tired of what they did to you. If you're married to this person and if you still love this person, I would say give them another shot and let them prove themselves to you. Okay. Let them prove themselves. You know, give it time. Be patient. You know, uh, get out of the stagnancy with them and stop holding them. Um, if you love them, I know you're hurt. But if you love this person you and they're apologizing and they're con constantly apologizing and trying to make things better and you're just staying in this, you did this to me, you did this, it's not going to solve the problem. It's not going to solve it for you. 
it's going to continue the conflict. So you may need to get rid of some of the um, uh, the hurt or resent that this person did to you. But it looks like they're trying to um, claw their way out of the hole that they made with you. So if you love this person and you are married and you want to give your marriage a chance, uh, work on it. Work on it so there can be movement forward with you guys. You know, kind of looking out to the distance and stop worrying about what was and start going uh, forward and and healing, healing with each other and manifesting um, the growth of the connection and uh, manifesting, manifesting the um, the growth back into the connection, valuing uh, one another again in this connection. Okay. This person's very heavy-hearted right now. I feel very heavy on my chest. Yeah, they they're tired. They're tired of being thrown out the window by you. <laughs> yeah, they put themselves there. I know they fucked up. They fucked up. I get it. They fucked up. But they're trying to change the patterns. They're trying to change with you. They're trying to stand taller. They're trying to see their wrongdoings and they're trying to fix it. They're trying to put the deception behind them. So it's up to you. It's really up to you, right? Judgment call. It's up to you. If you want to give communication towards this person, it's up to you. If you want to go towards this person, you don't have to. If you do not trust them, then put an ending to the relationship. There will be no rebirth. If you do not trust them and they keep coming up toxic and they keep doing the same bullshit over and over again, dead it, end it. There is no rebirth here. But if this person is showing, is showing that they're working on their toxic patterns, if they're working on their toxic patterns with you, then give them a rebirth of the connection. If you still feel love there with this person, you may be dealing with a Scorpio, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cap. Or you may be. Okay. So let's see what goes on. So get some open, honest communication with your person going. And and try a little bit of understanding with, with that give a little bit of uh, compassion and understanding and by no means am I telling you to just uh, you know accept a third party or this person uh, flaunting themselves all right I'm not saying to accept that behavior but I'm saying if your person has messed up people mess up people break our hearts right it's not always on purpose though sometimes they're just uh, we're wounded we're wounded sometimes and we fuck up and it is what it is and it's uh you want your peace you gotta find uh, whatever it ne needs uh, whatever you need to find to make yourself heal from the situation all right so sexy time let's see i don't know if you guys are going to give this person uh, a way back in but it's saying it's up to you it's really on you of how you're gonna. We'll see. Queen of Earth. You're just laying back right now. You're. You feel like you're up. You're. You're uh, pushed to the wall. You know, like you. You've been pushed to the wall, and you've been blindsided by the situation. You've been blinded. By the situation with your hands tied so not sure what you're gonna do with this person and that's why you're needing to uh, reach out to your friends for advice or guidance okay. maybe you're gonna reach out to me for a read there you go so air so this person person either you're having long-term commitment with or you're married to 
um, you feel like they tend to um, uh, try to control you, right? There might be a battle of, of control between the two of you guys. Right? Maybe a Gemini, Aries, Aquarius uh, here. So you might have had a little bit of control issue with one another, but I feel like this person is trying to um, to grab you back. They're wanting to grab you back. They're wanting communication back with the crow. All right, wanting to bring some positive information, positive communication to you. Coming back in passionately, running back home. They're running back towards you. They're riding that horse back towards you. And because this is, um, they don't want to lose this relationship with you. Yeah. Because <laughs> they see you as their angel here. Yeah. They see you as the angel. They see that you you have qualities that no one else possess. You have this innocence about you that they love. reaching out they're reaching out to you guys right they're reaching out to you very passionate here wanting to come back in with lots of passion hoping that you'll reach back out to them you see the hand here reaching for your skirt reaching to grab that ass and scoop that ass back while your back is turned away from this person they're wanting to grab that dress and reel you back in put you up on this horse get that ass way up in the air yeah you might like a little zoggy style action there yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> somebody wants playtime somebody wants to be played with you may be stroking on them very shortly <laughs> The person is trying to show stability. They're trying to tame themselves. Like I said before, this person's trying to tame themselves from other people rubbing on them. <laughs> look, at the, look at that guy's face like, bitch, oh, you're trying to get me off. I'm just going to sit here. I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. You're a hot piece, but I'm not going to do anything. Like fearful. Like, oh my God, I want... I want to go towards this person but no 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 i can't i can't i have to hold myself back so the person is holding themselves back holding themselves back from uh other connections that may make them feel sexually aroused person might have a sex addiction now that i'm looking at it because the devil card came up twice so devil card can mean addiction or toxic you know toxicity or bondage but he's fearful he's fearful yeah the devil devil card again yep so definitely this person has addiction to uh um getting attention from uh, other people To cover, to cover the body, to cover someone's goods, to have some sexual encounters. Mm. Okay. I think this person feels like you could save them with your, uh, with your priest, uh, your priestess behavior. 
you could see they feel like you may be able to save them from stopping that behavior putting an end to that behavior okay so this person might have been a playboy or a playgirl and you may be changing that about them okay that's good oh what is this what is this oh water all right you water signs you're freeing yourself yeah you're freeing yourself and you're allowing things to flow going forward you're allowing them to flow you're finding your peace you're finding those calm waters to lay in oh too much I'm really liking this new deck I'm liking it it's a definitely a different feel here for me a different read different read yeah star maybe dealing with an Aquarius or you may be Aquarius but you're healing this connection this person really wants to heal this connection with you they really trying to heal their behaviors this behavior they're trying to heal the connection and and heal their playboy or playgirl behaviors their addiction look at that look at that so they're trying to cleanse themselves, heal themselves from coveting other people sexually and um, taming, holding themselves back from their temptations. Really nice. Very nice. I like to see growth. It's great. Okay, what else is going on here? earth they pray they're praying for you they're praying to have that stability come back in coming out of their shadow sides yes coming out of that devilish behavior yes yes okay nice Yeah, you're going to wind up. Some of you, not all of you. Uh, I don't know if you spied on this person to see. I don't know if you, you were spying on them and that's how you found found out that they were cheating. Or found out that they weren't being... Uh, they had multiple options. There's a big camera here, a big zoom camera. So I feel like someone was really keeping a very watchful eye. You might have even uh, got a, a private investigator um to spy on this person right um some of you are moving t back towards this person here right some of you are moving back and uh well you may be making a film <laughs> you may be making a sex video with this person so you may try to um feed into their needs and feed into their fantasies by doing some uh, sexy videos with them and showing them a, a good time to keep them pleased. Yeah, the Empress. Yeah. This person is now going to be at your beck and call whenever you want to get eaten out or a blowjob. You'll get it. You're going to get everything that you want from this person because now they're on their knees. They know that they've done you wrong, they've done you dirty, and they know that you're a hot piece of ass, and that you, you're you valuable, and you really don't need them. You stand on your, uh, you stand on your throne there. You sit on your throne, and it's up to them. It's up to them now to, to put the work in here. Spice. I'm gonna be kissing your feet. Kissing your feet coming back in. That's it. I think that's it. Yep, that's it for sexy time. Okay. Looking good, guys. Looking good. All right, let's get some letters. Let's get some letters, and then I'll pull uh, what your person would like to tell you. Okay, letters. So this may be some your initials, their initials, 
something that connects you to to give you a little bit more clarity to see if this is your read. Uh, I just I just got Rome. Rome. Okay. All right. Some of you need to run from this connection. All right. If your if your person isn't showing shame or regret or apology, you're need, needing to run. This isn't your read, okay? Um, he ran. He ran. Okay, he's running. Your person may be running for now. Um, he ran. He may be living in a hotel room right now. Okay, so the initials are R, K, M. Oh, wait, not K. You might have a K in your name, or your person may have a K in their name. R, Q, M, Q, H, E, R, U, N, F, N, S. So let's see what I get up here. Someone may be a nuisance. This person may be a nuisance to you. Henry, Henry, okay, big time on the Henry. Mm. You may need some R and R time. You may want something new coming in. Actually, that's that was a W, not an M. W. So you may want something new at this point. You may want to um, let this uh, connection fizzle shine shine bright your shin might be bothering you or your person forever they said forever they want this love forever uh, someone's asking when when can they come back home when can you guys be together again when Son, you may have a son with this person. This person may want a son. Q, you, queen. You're the queen. No, you're the queen. They think you're the queen. Um, Wesley, Ren, Wendy. Uh, she, she, Fern, Sherry, I think that's it guys, R and R, R and R, take some time, take some time for you. That's it. That's all I got for that. Okay. Let's see. I'm a little sore sitting there doing the shirts yesterday. Shirts are going up uh, this weekend. There's limited quantity, so if you're interested. Uh, I'm going to be putting up a TikTok about how to enter uh, to win one. All right, so what your person would like to tell you. All right. I'm offering chakra intention candles. If you'd like to uh, put a five dollar donation towards the channel, you can do that over on Venmo. They're five dollars each. Okay. Let's see. All right. So, what your person? Uh, what your person would like to tell you that they're unable to tell you? This is my demo oracle deck. This deck will be out in in about three weeks. Still waiting on it what your person would like to tell you you're a star that's what i'm saying this person they do look at you in a highlight 
you know, even though they did what they did, it had nothing to do with you, right? It was their own shit that they were dealing with, that they had to get out of their system. I'm intimidated by you. So, yeah, you're the star. You're showing up. You're blowing up. You're like, fuck off. You know, you did. You hurt me. You, yeah, I'm walking away. You, you're saying I'm walking away. And they're saying you're the star now. You're intimidating me. I don't know how to fix the situation with you. I don't know how to fix it. Still wanting you. They hope that you miss them. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm jealous. You were good to me. They don't want to see you with anyone else. So they're jealous. This could be you. Actually, I feel like that's you. They may, have, may be jealous too because I saw a little bit of a controlling thing that they're wanting to uh, protect you. You may, I don't know, maybe you're mingling with new people already. Uh, I don't know how long this is for you. Some of you it's long, some of you it's just happened. But they may show that they're jealous uh, or you're feeling jealousy because they did go outside of this uh, relationship uh, to look for someone else or they connected with someone else. But um, that doesn't lessen your value here, guys. When somebody cheats on you, that doesn't lessen your value. It has nothing to do with you. It's all about them all about them and their their wounds that they need to heal yeah they broke your heart and they know that you deserve better than what they they gave to you that they did to you they know it they know it but i, I really do feel like they're they're wanting to heal they're wanting to heal themselves their own internal conflict and the conflict that they've put on you all right so lovers oracle let's get some of those out for you and then we're going to get out. We're going to be done. Okay. Just want to thank you guys for all the support that you give me, all the kind words and gifts and your bookings. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I like how our little community is growing over here. And over on TikTok. Uh, make sure to uh, like and share and follow me on Instagram and TikTok also. All right. So you're trying to find your peace right now. You're trying to listen to your intuition about the situation with this person. And you're trying to transform yourself. And your person's also transforming. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that card. Look at this though. Third eye. The third eye is awakening. All right. Sorry, my son is so loud. All right. So this card says, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Let me read that again. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Just listen. Take some time, allow things to transform. Find your peace of mind while things transform for you. Okay. So that's what I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the read. I hope it did give you guys some um, clarity to your situation. And if you'd like to book, uh, the link's in the bio. All right. Appreciate you guys. Have a great one. Keep in the present moment and focus on the positives get yourself out of the negative uh, mindset. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.